Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use every single item except for flashlights in Phasmophobia. Hope you enjoy. The EMF Freeder is a device that will only be triggered in the proximity of anything that goes as it interacted with within a certain amount of time. So if a door is moving without any human interference, then the EMF signal will go off making a sound and making lights turn on on the device. If you get five lights at once, this is at one evidence point. This will look something like this. The spirit box is a device that the ghost can communicate with you through, so you need to ask ghost questions when the proximity of it. You may have a couple of times to get the ghost to respond, and it uh, takes longer for shy ghosts to respond as they are well shy. You can see me asking it a question here. Are you here? This is another bit of evidence which you can write down if you get a response. Tip, always leave it on the floor and around the ghost, sometimes it can respond out of nowhere. The video camera in the newest update got an improvement to handheld viewing, which can be useful in many ways, but it can also go on a tripod or onto an object, which you can then view the camera through the monitor in the van. The camera can be used for many things. Watch your friends suffering, finding ghost orbs, ghost orbs flying balls of light, uh, which are only viewable through night vision, or watching to see if the ghost walks through the dots projector. The UV light can scan for fingerprints on light switches slash doors. This counts as evidence. You can also take pictures of these to get more money. The UV light will also show fingerprints on the floor, if there is any. Take pictures of these to get more money. The photo camera is a disposable camera which you can take pictures of things, like something being thrown can have a picture taken and then you will gain money for that. Also take a photo of the bone before picking it up. Do not waste your photos though because you do not have unlimited. The motion sensor can be placed on walls inside the house and it will light up if anything walks through it, including ghosts. This is not evidence sadly though, but it is required for some objectives. The sound sensor can be placed on walls and it will track any sound inside the area by as highlighted on the map when you place it. Check the ball next to the map to see the sound levels coming from that sensor. Smudge sticks can be used to stop the ghost from hunting for a certain amount of time. If the ghost is a it will not wander its location for a certain amount of time. If it is a spirit, the ghost cannot hunt for double the amount of time after using the stick. It can also uh, be used to repel the ghost during a hunt, which can help while I was trying to get the ghost too. Salt is pretty much useless, but uh, just place it on the ground around the ghost, and if the ghost steps on it, you may find UV footprints, which you can take pictures of. Be careful with salt when you have a wraith though, because there's a toxic reaction to salt. The parabolic microphone can be used to detect sounds coming from where you're looking at. If you get above one decibel, then you know the ghost may be in the location you're looking in. Sometimes the ghost can say things over the microphone too, which can give a scare. The candle is pretty much another useless bit of equipment, uh, but if you're carrying it, it tends to lower your sanity slower than without it. This may also be used for an objective. The glow stick is basically a UV light but has a larger radius when enabled. This can be useful to place on the floor when you hear footsteps from a ghost in a very close range of time. The crucifix is a cross shaped piece of metal which can stop the ghost from hunting two times before breaking. These need to be in close proximity to the ghost to work properly. You may also get this as an objective. The thermometer can help detect low temperatures which mainly is the location of the ghost. In professional you need to tap the power on the generator to get back to normal temperatures because the heating turns off and the generator's off. If you get freezing temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, then that is an evidence point. Ghost writing book. The ghost writing book can be written in by the uh, ghost if a book is in proximity of it. If you see writing, take a picture of it and write it down as an evidence point. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, drop a like and subscribe. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you later.